Now to on to other news. Today, Governor Bill Haslam signed a law into a bill into law that would allow victims' photos to be used in criminal trials. Previously, a judge would have to allow photos of a homicide victim to be admissible in court. News Channel 9's Drew Belaya explains how this change could impact local cases. It's called the Victim Life Photo Bill, and it was inspired by a murder in Knoxville 11 years ago, and now it may help grieving families locally. I miss everything about him. Sandra Johnson broke down when asked about what she misses most about her husband, Kenneth. Oh, I don't have nobody to talk to. He was my best friend, and we went everywhere together. According to police, Kenneth Johnson, a minister at a local church, was beaten to death and left in a ditch along Blackford Street back in November. It's been hard for me. Johnson goes to every court date. Today, one of the accused, Jordan Craig, made a brief appearance. She and her then-boyfriend, Stephen Kelly, are charged with the murder. They argue Johnson was selling them drugs. They say he became aggressive towards Craig, and Kelly acted in her defense. Sandra remembers a different man. He felt he was honored to take care of his wife. It's good that it allows us to, to humanize the victim a little bit more uh, and, and show photographs of them. Today, Governor Bill Haslam signed the Victim Life Photo Bill, which allows prosecutors to submit photos, like the one Sandra carries with her, as evidence if the case against Craig and Kelly goes to trial. I think it'd be good for them to see that the victim was an actual person, had family members, things of that nature. District Attorney General Neil Pinkston explains how things were in the past. The only photographs that, that the jurors or the court would see of a victim are those gruesome crime scene photos or gruesome autopsy photos. Opponents of the bill say this would inject too much emotion into trials and could potentially paint an inaccurate picture of who the victim really was. The courts will regulate which photographs we can put in like any other pieces of evidence. This bill will go into effect on July 1st. In Hamilton County, Drew Balea, News Channel 9. Advocates for the victim photo bill have been working for a year to get this measure passed into law.